focus on colors, okay? So, colors, um, it's the one that takes the most time, but it's also very easy. You first want to know what color codes you're using. So, notice you can drop any image on Photoshop and then click on this right here and click over the color to know what colors to use, okay? In this case, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors on the site. Uh, first thing you do, you go to edit page. That actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, you want to go to the dashboard. I'm going to keep this open. The first thing you want to do is change the accent color, the header colors, the footer colors, and then we're going to work on everything else. Okay. Accent colors essentially is when you go to salient and you go to accent colors, and this is the colors. This is essentially all the colors that goes in the website. Now, the primary color goes at the top, the secondary one here, the third one here, and so forth. The way I built this website, it doesn't really pull from these colors a whole lot. Um, so let's say this is the primary color. I'm going to copy it. I just copy and paste this code here. I'm going to put it here. Okay. And then the secondary color, let's say it's gold. I'm going to like a darker gold. I'm going to take I'm going to put it in here. Okay. I'm gonna save it now I don't pull from that a whole lot so like when I save it nothing really comes here with those colors so um, technically you don't necessarily have to change those colors those colors will only really apply <clears throat> once they it's like with the button you notice the button took that color that that primary color that controls the button Everything else, and, and it's some other things that if the customer adds additional pages, certain things just automatically pulls these two main colors. I don't worry so much about these for now. So now, that was me doing the accent color. Let's worry about the uh, header color. So you go here, you go to header navigation, you scroll down. This color here is the background of the header which is this this color here is the font of the header so let's go ahead and make this this color and let's make this white and, this, and then this is hover this is whenever I hover over let's just make it red for now so you can see what I'm talking about see that when I hover it turns red okay now the drop-down background color and the background hover and the font, all of these that are drop-down, this is just if th there was drop-downs here and here. We don't have any, most likely we won't on these websites, so we don't have to worry about these. You can, if you like, make it match this right here. That's what I normally do. I just make it match whatever the, the background is and whatever the font is. I just kind of make it match. This is the background hover over here. There isn't a background hover. I kind of keep that the same thing. Background and background hover. I keep it the same. I just change the font and font hover. So if this is white, so this font here is going to be white. And if this font is red, font hover, this font hover is, font hover is going to be red. <laughs> this is just if there was a drop down. Mega menu, header separators, all of this stuff you don't have to worry about. Uh, because we don't put mega headers and we don't put second headers and any of that in the sites we built but we you do have to worry about the off canvas navigation this is the mobile see the mobile here when you when you go over here it's the color the background here and then the font and then the hover color normally whatever color is the background of this I put as the background of this and whatever color is the front of this I put as of the main one I put it as the front of this so let's go ahead and do that um, just to keep a consistency there so the background is this color okay off canvas background put it there off canvas headers which is fonts uh, right now I have it as white I'm gonna put it as white uh, and then the text is also white. Header, usually text and headers is the same thing, just words, you want the words to be white. And then when you hover over them, we want it to be red. This is just so you can see that it works, okay? Go ahead and refresh it and make this smaller. Now I'm going to show you 
everything works. See that? According to what you chose. So that's how you do that. So we just learned how to do colors for the accent, header colors. Let's do the footer colors. Footer color. I normally don't mess with the footer. Honestly, I always keep it this gray color. But this is the footer color. This is the footer here. Background. Let's go ahead and put background font. Second color for the font. I'm gonna make this like the titles and stuff. Copyright back color is this co is this background right here. I'm gonna make this one black just so you can see what I'm talking about. Normally I make this and that the same color, but I'm not gonna do it this time. I'll make it black so you can see the difference. I'm gonna save it. Okay, notice that. This is black. Usually I make this and this the same color so you don't see a line here. You know, I usually if this is gold, I usually make this gold. Anyways, that's how you change the footer colors, okay? <coughs> Call now co button color. The call now button is this button that shows on mobile that's always down here. So what you do to change that, you just go to uh, tool. No, not tools. You go to settings, and then you go to call now button, and then you put the color you want. Actually, with this one, you have to click advance and then button color, and put the color you want, and then you hit save. Now when you go when you refresh the website and you go to it, you'll see that it's that color. Okay. Now we're gonna do the header background. Now we're gonna get to editing the page, okay? Now all of this editing is about the same thing. This it edits the same way. So you click on edit page. So now we're actually gonna edit the specific page. We are we just took care of all the layout related items. Now we're gonna take care of the page related items. So the first thing here is the header background color. I'm gonna instead of header, I'm gonna write here uh, hero. That's what I meant to say. The hero image is this main area here, the main photo. I'm gonna you're gonna click on the pencil. See, note. Let me show you something. Um, on the left here is a picture of a woman. On the right is text. Okay. So pretty much this is two columns, column one, column two. Okay, I'm going to show you. This is a column one, this is a column two. Over here, there's only one column. There's nothing next to each other. Over here, there's two columns, okay? Over here is two columns. Over here is just one column, but it's centered. Um, I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. So <clears throat> this whole section here on the top, it's called a row. Because it, it it's no it's not columns, it's just a whole row. Okay? The whole thing together is a row. The separated sections are columns, okay? And then the individual items are elements. One element, two elements, three elements, four elements, five elements. So we're gonna go because we wanna change the image on the whole row, we're gonna edit the row. The way you edit the row is right here on this little pencil here. Because whatever you change here, you're going to change on the whole row. Whatever you change on this little pencils here, you're going to change on the individual sections, okay? If I were to click on this pencil and change the background color, you would change the background color just on this side. If I change the background color on this one, you would change the background color just on this side. If I change the background color on the row, it's going to change the whole thing as a whole. I'm going to click on the little pencil for the row, and I'm going to change the background color to black. Let's hit save. I'm going to hit preview. We just change it to black. Now I want to change the, the word always to white. So I'm going to find the word always, which is an element here. This is an element. Click on the pencil over the element. And I'm going to come here, text color. I'm going to change it to white. Hit save, hit preview, change. Now it's white. And I'm going to change this perfect eyebrow to gold, okay? So I'm going to copy this gold color. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to perfect eyebrows. I'm going to click on pencil. I'm going to come here, text color. Paste it right here. So I click it on perfect eyebrows, pencil, came to color, boom. Hit save. I'm going to hit preview. And I just changed it to gold, okay? Now, some sections have a mobile view and a desktop view. In this section, there's a mobile and desktop. 
whenever you see a gray section that even when you hover over everything is grayed out over here is 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 uh is green over here is gray is because there is a mobile version and a desktop version the gray is always a desktop version there's a way to check you can click on the little pencil on the on the uh, column on this little pencil at the top and then you can click on responsive option and you can see that it shows here hide on these devices so on mobile it doesn't show it hides on all the mobile it hide on these devices and then if you click on the pencil right above this one you will see to only show on these devices oh I mean to hide on, on these devices so it only shows on these three devices which are mobile devices so I'm gonna change whatever I do here I have to do it here so I'm gonna change the color of always to white okay I'm gonna hit save I'm gonna hit preview notice I didn't change the color of poor perfect brown so when if I move it to mobile see the perfect brown still blue but this is white because I changed it it's very important that you whatever you do on the top you do on the bottom okay so I'm going to perfect brown I'm going to change that to rep to gold okay boom now if you want to change the button color you can you can click on the little thing right over the button click on the th and then you can change the color of the button if I want it red you can make it red <coughs> Okay. Now the button is red. So that's how you change colors for everything. For this, for this button, for this title. You change the color. Now when you scroll down, so you're seeing this section, then you're seeing this section here. Notice there's this area here with this different color, which is just a darker version of this. When you get there, you see a divider. It's called divider. See, notice the little pink is here. It's because the way to change that color is to change the color of the whole row. You click there, and you just click here, and you change the color. Okay? Um, and this is how you update all the sections. It's the same, but when you see sections like this that have multiple colors, it goes from blue to, to pink, you're like, wow, how do I do that? You know, you come to the, the booking section, and you, you click here, and you see the background color here there's nothing here so how did I change it from blue to pink usually one is because I use the color overlay option which is here general and then notice I put those two colors here if I want I can put the two primary colors the green and then I can put the gold okay let's see what it looks like see that but I don't like the way it looks so normally I like to go to two colors maybe let's make it darker to solid let's see I don't like it instead of that I'm gonna make it from green to lighter green okay I'm gonna move it to like a lighter green right here and I'm gonna hit preview <coughs> Yeah, let's say you like this better. You just keep it at that. Then you scroll and you, you just keep doing all of this. The only other thing, everything changes colors the same way. Everything here, it's exact same, except I'm going to teach you how to ch change the color of the um, pricing area, the, the border color. Section 8 is the border. So I put a border right here. You see that border? If you want to change the color of that, you have to do that on the actual column. Notice this is a column. You update the column because the border isn't around the row. It's around the column. So you go to the pricing right here. See where it says pricing? You click on the little um, right here. It's only over the prices itself. You click on the little pencil right above where the price items are for that specific row. And you click on border option. And then you change the color here. Boom. So that's how you do everything. Once you get to the button down here, same thing. You scroll down and find the button right here. Button, you click on here. You make the color. <coughs> you put red. Preview. The best cheat for this is to have to download Photoshop and just drop photos onto Photoshop, and then you can get colors from it by using the color picker. Okay, it gives you the color code down here. But that's how you change the colors on the site.